Melanie, uh, Bob had data, he had charts, he had stories. You are in the middle of Philadelphia, not Port Clinton. You are living with these realities. You minister, you serve, you raise kids and grandkids. What does this look like? What do these charts look like? What does the, the opportunity gap look like in your community, your church, in your work? Good evening. My church, Evangel Chapel, is located in the lower Kensington area of Philadelphia. It is one of the most marginalized uh, communities in our city. Our city happens to be one of the poorest cities of its size in our nation. I enjoyed Mr. Dr. Putnam's speech because I am, in fact, Mary Sue's pastor. We call Mary Sue Tanaya. We call her Shamika. We call her Raphael. And sometimes we call her Anna Marie. But I am Mary Sue's pastor. And what Dr. Putnam didn't tell you that is that Mary Sue and her family members, her children, her grandparents sometimes, in our community, they live in abandonments. And I hope you're asking, what is she talking about? <laughs> an abandoned minium is an abandoned house where people live, and they used to be called squatters. But different family groups live in these abandoned houses, and your family group may live in the second floor front. Your family group may live in the second floor back, someone else on the third, someone else on the first floor, but they coexist in these abandonments, because all of the gaps and the missed opportunities that Dr. Putnam shared are their reality. I am their pastor. And as a result of that, once a month, I allow them to line up on the outside of our church, and I watch 250 or so to 300 families come in to get 50 pounds of food. We give them all that we have, but we don't have all that they need. 